I knew the sacred valley of Peru. This is the ancient site of Olente Tambo. When the Inca saw these windows, they knew they were special, just like we today know that they're special. We are here at the megalithic walls of Olente Tambo. I want to show how big these rocks are. They're absolutely humongous. You never really get a size of, of how big they are until you see a human walk next to them. And look at the precision work that you see. This is something extraordinary throughout the world. Unbelievable. So we have our first window here and it is 72.3 centimeters. So now we're going to go to the next window. All the windows are the same depth and the same height by, by 0 0.01 of an inch. Next, we're going to the Koi Contra in Cusco, and we're going to measure those trapezoidal windows. In 1538, a church was built directly on top of the most important temple to the Inca Empire. Under this church is the ancient Inca Sun Temple called the Koi Contra. Now we measured them over at Ole Tintambo, and every window was 72 centimeters. So these are different. And I want to see if there's any correlation, any similarities to the ones here. In this room, we have 25 trapezoidal windows. And we're going to go and measure all of them. It's going to put a laser at the top. You see it? And let's see what it measured. It measured... There it goes. Set. Wow, that's the same measurements as the ones in Olente Tambo. This, we're gonna get this next one, and now we're gonna measure this window. <laughs> Seventy-two point five. Okay. <laughs> Every single window is seventy-two centimeters, <laughs> and they're the exact same size as Olente Tambo. Well, what were these windows for? And um, it must have been extremely important to them that they had to be the same size. There's, they had to be exactly the same size, 72 centimeters. Why? There has to be a reason. Why was it so important to them that they had to be the same size? And what were they used for? Comment below if you have any suggestions. Now for the square blocks at the Cori Concha. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now living in Peru and going to the Cori Concha many times, I noticed something that blew my mind. No one mentions this. You see the, these trapezoidal windows and doors made out of square blocked basalt, but your eyes are deceiving you and nobody's mentioning this. Look at this. You see this block? See the line in the center? That's part of the block that goes around, around here. Same thing, and it goes out here. So you can see these irregular masonry cuts are everywhere. Each trapezoidal window is the exact same size and shape, but each stone is a different size and a different shape. How did they make these? Just look at the extreme advanced precision. The mathematical knowledge required to construct such work exceeds that of most of the world's population today. You can see that the Inca tried to duplicate what they saw. When the Incas first saw these, they knew they were special. Just like today, when we see these, we know they are something special. Each stone is a different size and a different shape. There are no two alike. And each stone needs to be put in an exact place. But each trapezoidal window is exactly the same size and shape. With their advanced knowledge to manipulate stone, they could have easily made it simpler. But they chose to construct this in the most difficult and challenging ways. What more lies to be discovered?
come with me. And together, we can discover and explore Earth's ancient, strange, and unknown sites. So subscribe and come along.